Hey everyone, I'm John Oden of the development team here at Boson Software, joined by Andrew Messier, who leads the NetSim product development team. Andrew, thank you for taking time to, to be on this uh, video here. And uh, I think we just want to bring to our viewers a, a brief uh, outline of how to best use Boson NetSim. Boson NetSim is our network simulator providing a hands-on experience of operating a Cisco-powered network of routing and uh, switching protocols and technologies. Andrew, how would you suggest that, uh, that folks get started? Sure. Um, so whenever you get, first get started with NetSim, um, one of the first things that you'll notice is that NetSim comes with hundreds of labs uh, covering the uh, certification track uh, for the product that you purchased. And uh, these are professionally uh, written labs. And what I would recommend is to uh, begin with the first one and work uh, through the, each one of those labs. Uh, you should you know, load the lab and read the title, look at the objective, and first make sure you understand what is going to be covered in that lab. Uh, and if uh, there's anything new in there, if you know, the lab says in this lab you're gonna be configuring OSPF. If you don't know anything about OSPF, well, then uh, you should study that concept first. Uh, I recommend using our, our courseware um, as a good starting place, but there's, you know, plenty of sources for, you know, studying uh, Cisco certifications, uh, but you should study that, uh, work through the chapter. And once you understand the concept, then come back to NetSim and begin working through the lab. Whenever you load a lab, after the objective, you'll see a lab topology diagram. I recommend uh, recreating that lab topology diagram on paper. Uh, it's good practice. Uh, it'll get you familiar with all the different devices, but you know, draw out each router, switch and, and host, draw, label the networks, and uh, that will help you as you work through the lab. After that section, there is a command reference table. Uh, every lab comes with a command reference table that lists every single command that you might use uh, in that lab. Uh, read through that table. And if there are any commands that you don't recognize, then you should stop and you should go study those. Uh, again, you can look up those commands in our courseware, or you can use something such as the uh, uh, Cisco command reference online, but you should make sure that you understand the purpose of each one of those commands. And uh, from there, you'll proceed on to the lab tasks section. Inside of the lab tasks are uh, instructions on, you know, what to do to complete the objective of that lab. And sometimes you'll just be instructed to configure something. Sometimes there will be questions that you answer. As you work through that, you'll be able to kind of self-verify that you're completing the tasks successfully because it'll tell you, you know, issue this ping, it should be successful or issue this trace route, you know, it won't be. Uh, there's also, you know, a, a bunch of show output that uh, you can verify along the way. Finally, once you work through all those lab tasks, there is a lab solutions section. And you, you know, I want to emphasize that you should not go straight to the lab solutions section. Right. Uh, you should do your best to work through the lab tasks because that will actually evaluate if you know what to do at each step. Uh, yeah. But you can, you know, use the solutions to verify outputs and uh, those solutions restate the uh, individual step, and then we'll give you sample output directly from the simulator. Finally, once you are finished uh, working through a lab, you can grade the lab. NetSim has a feature uh, that will inspect your uh, current running configuration, and it'll compare that to a known good running configuration. You can use this to see if you've entered any commands unnecessarily, or if you're missing a command, uh, chances are if you're missing a command, you probably weren't able to get you know, through the tasks successfully, right. but uh, it provides you that uh, sort of immediate feedback. Um, 
And then once you get done with that lab, you should proceed on to the next one. And once you have finished all of the labs, or once you've completed all the labs that uh, pertain to a topic that you're studying, um, you know, it's time to, to go take a practice exam. While not that while specific, we do have practice exams that cover the same certifications that each one of our NetSim products do. So uh, go take the practice exam. And if you find that you're weak uh, in any certain subject, then I recommend going back to that sim and working through labs uh, for that subject. For sure. And uh, I think, uh, Andrew, it would probably be fair to say that uh, the labs don't necessarily have to be worked through in the order that they're presented in the product, but you do need to gauge kind of where you are. Uh, there would be very little point and jumping into a multi-area OSPF lab, for example, before you have mastered basic router configuration. Is that, is that fair to say? That's absolutely correct. Uh, none of the labs <clears throat> need to be completed in sequence. They are all stand, they all stand alone. However, we have those labs ordered in the lab tree so that they do progressively get more difficult. Right. Um, just like you mentioned, you're not going to find a multi-area OSPF lab before you come across the router basics lab. And those get more difficult because uh, the first time that you see a command or you know something as simple as configuring a host name, we will the lab document will, you know, in essence hold your hand and uh, demonstrate how to do that. The next time that you see that, or you know, maybe four or five appearances later, uh, you're no longer going to get that kind of handholding. So they do kind of progressively build on one another. And right. if you're completely new to, you know, Cisco certification uh, networking, uh, you should start with that very first lab because it'll go into detail on, you know, how you use help context and how you can use tab to autocomplete, mm -hmm. et cetera. So for someone that uh, has never had any interaction with, uh, with the Cisco network before or any interaction with Boson NetSim, but aspires to get into the path to become a Cisco networking practitioner, we, um, we have a, a demo that you can go out and do, right? And, and I would encourage everyone to, to go to boson.com and set up a free online account, download the demo version of our product. And uh, Andrew, there are certain things that they can do without even making a purchase, right? That's correct. You can, uh, uh, like you mentioned, you can go and uh, acquire that demo. It has, I believe, three uh, labs that you can work through. And uh, you can do, it. you can evaluate everything in the software uh, with the one exception that the uh, commands that are available to you are limited to the commands that are necessary to complete those three labs. Right. And of course, you know, once you make a purchase, uh, that restriction is lifted. Right. And then the restrictions expand depending upon the version of NetSim that you purchase, whether it's for CCNA, Encore, or uh, an RC, right? That's correct. Yeah. And I think, uh, gosh, there are what hundreds of labs out there and uh, in all of those versions together. Well, right. Andrew, thanks very much. Uh, that's helpful, I think, for folks that want to get uh, a little bit of uh, information about how to get started with Boson NetSim. As, as I mentioned, I would encourage everybody to go download the demo if you're not familiar with NetSim and uh, uh, and, and know that, that we are here. There are real people here. You can pick up the phone and call us and more than likely somebody will answer. If not, you'll get a call back really quick and uh, you can engage in the comments below the video here and we'll help you and answer your questions. And uh, we really appreciate your interest in our products. Uh, Andrew, parting words of wisdom, any, anything that you would tell our viewers that would help them be successful with NetSim and their certification studies. No, just uh, just keep at it. Uh, be consistent, and uh, no matter no matter where you are on your journey, if you if you keep at it uh, and study, you'll get there. Uh, Absolutely. Yes. 
And sometimes it seems sometimes it seems very daunting, but as we like to say here, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. <laughs> bite at a time. Andrew, thank you very much, and thank you to our viewers. And uh, again, engage with us in the comments below if you have a question. If there's any way we can help, we're we're here for you, and uh, we'll look forward to hearing from you. Andrew, thanks again. Everybody, have a great day. See you on the next video. Thank you. Thank you. Happy studying.